today we're doing Lesson 101 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 101. God's will for me is perfect happiness. God's will for me is perfect happiness. Today we will continue with the theme of happiness. This is a key idea in understanding what salvation means. You still believe it asks for suffering as a penance for your sins. This is not so. Yet you must think it so while you believe that sin is real and that God's Son can sin. If sin is real, then punishment is just and cannot be escaped. Salvation thus cannot be purchased but through suffering. If sin is real, then happiness must be illusion, for they cannot both be true. The sinful warrant only death and pain, and it is this they ask for. For they know it waits for them, and it will seek them out and find them somewhere, sometime, in some form that evens the account they owe to God. They would escape him in their fear. And yet he will pursue, and they cannot escape. If sin is real, salvation must be pain. Pain is the cost of sin, and suffering can never be escaped if sin is real. Salvation must be feared, for it would kill, but slowly, taking everything away before it grants the welcome boon of death, to victims who are little more than bones before salvation is appeased. Its wrath is boundless, merciless, but wholly just. Who would seek out such savage punishment? Who would not flee salvation and attempt in every way he can to drown the voice which offers it to him? Why would he try to listen and accept its offering? If sin is real, its offering is death, and meted out in cruel form to match the vicious wishes in which sin is born. If sin is real, salvation has become your bitter enemy, the curse of God upon you, who have crucified his Son. You need the practice periods today. <laughs> The exercises teach sin is not real, for it has no cause. Accept atonement with an open mind, which cherishes no lingering belief that you have made a devil of God's Son. There is no sin. We practice with this thought as often as we can today, because it is the basis for today's idea. God's will for you is perfect happiness because there is no sin, and suffering is causeless. Joy is just, and pain is but the sign you have misunderstood yourself. Fear not the will of God, but turn to it in confidence that it will set you free from all the consequences sin has wrought in feverish imagination. Say, God's will for me is perfect happiness. There is no sin. It has no consequence. So should you start your practice periods and then attempt again to find the joy these thoughts will introduce into your mind. Give these five minutes gladly to remove the heavy load you lay upon yourself with the insane belief that sin is real. Today, escape from madness. You are set on freedom's road, and now today's idea brings wings to speed you on, and hope to go still faster to the waiting goal of peace. There is no sin. Remember this today, and tell yourself as often as you can, God's will for me is perfect happiness. This is the truth, because there is no sin. 
That's lesson 101. God's will for me is perfect happiness. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.